If you're applying to dental school and have already taken the DAT based on the old scoring system, or you're about to take the new DAT and looking for more information about it, or if you're a reapplicant wondering if your old DAT score is gonna count when you go to reapply, considering the new changes coming to the DAT, I'm going to cover everything that you need to know about the new DAT scoring format and other changes happening to the DAT. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Andrew, the founder of Pre-Denting Dental School Admissions Advising, where we work with pre-dentals on a one-on-one -on -one advising basis to help them get accepted to their dream dental schools. And I'm also the only advisor in the world who has served on the AdSAS advisory board, helping run the dental school application. Before we dive into the changes happening to the DAT, one of the things I made to help you with studying for the DAT is an absolutely free DAT guide. It includes a bunch of tips, tricks, and things that you really should know to score well in the DAT and make this a one and done thing so you don't have to retake the exam over and over again. You can download that guide for free at predenting.com forward slash DAT guide. And that being said, let's get into these changes. So there are a lot of changes coming to the DAT starting on March 1st, 2025. The first big change that's happening is the DAT is going from a two point scoring system to a three digit scoring system. So before this change, DAT scores would be scored on a scale from one to 30. And now they're gonna be scored on a scale from 200 to 600 with scores being reported in 10 point increments meaning you may get a 300, a 310, a 320, a 330, so on and so forth up to 600 on each section of the DAT. And if you score really, really well on the DAT, you're probably looking at a 500, 550, 560, 590, or 600 score. Now let's start with the good news. And that is despite the new scoring system, dental schools are gonna accept either DAT scores with a two point scoring system or a three point scoring system because they're gonna be given a conversion table or chart that essentially correlates those old two point scores to the new three point scores. In terms of, let's say a 20 might correlate to about a 420 on the three digit scoring system. So if you've already taken your DAT and you're applying for the first time, or you're gonna be reapplying to dental schools with a two digit DAT score from a DAT score you took previously, that's totally okay. Dental schools are gonna accept this. This has already been discussed with the ADA. And when I was on the advisory board for AdSAS, this is also something that was discussed in the meetings. So that is not something that you need to worry about. It's totally okay to apply with a two digit score in the 2025 or future dental school admission cycle. That being said, you do wanna make sure that your DAT score is gonna remain valid to the dental schools that you're applying to because some dental schools only accept DAT scores that were released in the last two years and some schools it's a three year. So as long as your DAT scores within that time, you should be good to go. The second thing you should know, which I'd also consider good news, is that there are actually no changes to the actual exam content that's gonna be tested on the DAT. So those core subjects and the subsections within the biology, general chemistry, organic chemistry, PAT, reading comprehension, and mass section is all going to be the same. As of right now, there are zero changes happening to the content. If you're finding this video helpful so far, give it a like and subscribe for more helpful pre-dental content that's designed to help you get accepted to your dream dental schools. And don't forget to pick up that free DAT guide at predenting.com forward slash DAT guide. So thirdly, there's gonna become a big change when it comes to how you get your DAT score report and how that's gonna affect your application timeline. And what I mean by that is with the old version of the DAT, you received your score report the second that you finished the exam. So when you're walking out of the Prometric Testing Center, you would know how you performed on your DAT that same day. And that being said, you could take that score report that you would get right after you finish taking the DAT and add your scores into the AdSAS or Texas Dental School Application Service and then immediately submit your application to dental schools. However, now with the three digit scoring system, you're no longer going to get your DAT score instantly. Instead, it's gonna take a couple weeks for the ADA to process your score, which really means you won't know what you got on the DAT for a couple weeks and you will no longer be able to go home right after taking the DAT, add your DAT scores to the application and then submit your application. Now you may have heard that you can technically submit your dental school application without a DAT score, which is true, however, your dental school application when submitted without a DAT score is actually not considered complete. And for that reason, the vast majority and virtually every dental school in the US is gonna put your dental school application on hold. Think of it as being put in a different pile. That's for an incomplete application. And it gets put on that hold until the dental schools receive a DAT score from you. 
So this means that if you're planning on taking the DAT close to when you're thinking about submitting your dental school application, your application might now be delayed by a couple of weeks uh, compared to the old scoring system when you got your score right away and then you could immediately put your DAT score in. Now, if you'd previously signed up to take the DAT and submitted your application to take the DAT before March 1st, 2025, you might be wondering if you can still take the old version of the DAT or if you have to take the new version of the DAT. And here's how that breaks down. If your DAT test date is before March 1st, 2025, regardless of when you signed up for the DAT, you will be taking the two digit scoring system DAT. If you are taking your DAT on March 1st, 2025 or afterwards, regardless of the date that you signed up for the DAT, the DAT that you will be taking will be scored using the new three digit scoring system. So long story short, if you signed up for the DAT before, don't worry, the only thing that's changing is your score report in terms of being that three digit scoring system. You don't need to send in a new application to take the DAT. You don't need to pay the DAT test taking fee again. You are totally okay on that front. Now, if you're thinking about taking your exam on a date near March 1st before these changes take effect, you might be able to take either version of the DAT, meaning as long as you are eligible to take the DAT before March 1st or after March 1st, this kind of puts you in a unique situation where you can then pick, do I wanna take my DAT with the two digit scoring system or do I wanna take it with the three digit scoring system? Considering that the three digit scoring system is supposed to make test scores even more accurate and make it so that you can't guess your way to a high score and that it, you really need to be more precise and accurate with how many questions you get correctly, if you're feeling really confident in your knowledge and test taking ability, I would opt for the three digit scoring system. But if you're feeling more anxious and you feel like you'd benefit from almost benefit of the doubt or guessing your way to a slightly higher score, the two digit scoring system is probably gonna treat you better. And if you're looking for some tips to ace another section of the DAT and really improve your DAT score, don't forget to get that DAT guide and you'll wanna check out this next video.